the major, so, you know, I uh -oh. hope to get in that field when I'm finished. You got a spot in our desk anytime. Tim Frisbee, Disney Spirit Award winner for 2004. Congratulations. An award for excellence in college football, his name would have to be the first choice. To present the Keith Jackson Award for Excellence, the man himself. I am humbled at the poor to be part of an award for excellence because the award reaches beyond the playing field. It reaches to people who are looking for, pursuing, and eventually capturing an opportunity to do something they've dreamed about for a long time. The first winner of this award for excellence is one of those kind of people. And here is his story. Playing college sports was uh, always a dream of mine. I had dreams just like everybody else. Oh, Things didn't work out, you know, the way I thought. I joined the military. And, you know, three-year tour turned into 20, and, you know, the rest is history. I don't think he set out to do a full 20 years. Different things dictate how your path is going to go sometimes. Tim Frisbee's path was one of sacrifice. Instead of going to college, he joined the military, raised six children, all the while putting off his dream of getting an education and playing college football. He had put his duty to his country and his family before himself for many, many years. After his retirement from service, it was time for Tim Frisbee to follow a dream deferred. I knew when my military career was over, I wanted to come back and play. I just wanted the opportunity. What we do is we have to try out walk-ons. We had space for maybe six walk-ons. There were over 50 that tried out. And we were probably a week into spring practice, and Troy Williamson said, Coach, you know we've got a 39-year-old receiver. And I said, no. Good Lord, I don't care what your age is. I don't care whether you're 9 or whether you're 99. If you've gone through the regular process and you've proven to be an asset through spring practice, then you're going to become part of the football team. It never crossed my mind that, well, maybe I was too old. If you come to a point where you don't think you can do it anymore, then you kind of lose that the dream. At 39 years old, Frisbee had realized his goal of returning to school and playing ball. He was quickly thrown into a world among kids half his age. And that was my first question to him, why are you doing this? You know, and then you find out what he's done in his life, what his goals are, what he wants to accomplish, and you have a greater appreciation for what he's doing. When I was 39, I was worried about getting out of bed, let <laughs> alone going to practice. Tim Frisbee had for so long yearned to know the feeling of stepping on the field to compete in a college football game. Finally, after decades of waiting, an opportunity presented itself. Coach Holtz went to him and said, Pops, when we get the ball back, you're going to go in. Everyone was like, hey, Pops in the game. So everybody jumped up and moved to the sideline. The players started, you know, Pops, Pops, Pops. We stood up on the benches and waved our helmets. We almost got a penalty because we almost got on the field. We wanted to get close to him. With that first step onto the field, all of those years of waiting fell away. Four brief plays, a dream fulfilled. It's an honor and privilege to be on the team. I never gave up. If you persevere, you can realize your goals are, you know, your dreams. We should all take a lesson from the man who wouldn't let his ambitions die. Tim Frisbee never let go of a dream that he suddenly found himself in the middle of. He was just excited to be out there and and be able to say that he was on that field in between the white lines and, and playing in a game that he loves. God bless him. I mean, I, I admire and this is uh, what he's wanted to do. And I've always said this to our players, hey, follow your dreams. Pursue them. Don't let people tell you if this is what you want to do, go do it. But he also has made an awful lot of sacrifice, not just to play football, but the 20 years he spent in the armed services defending this country as well and I respect that greatly. Ladies and gentlemen, wide receiver from the University of South Carolina, Tim Frisbee. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm honored to receive this award tonight, and I, uh, I'd like to thank some uh, special people uh, my wife, Carolyn, back home in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, for the sacrifices she's made. Uh, my mother for uh, imparting in me the belief that you can do and be whoever you want. 
my brother Greg for giving me a, a role model to follow, and uh, Coach Holtz for believing in me, and the staff at South Carolina. Also, uh, I'd like to thank my teammates who have uh, been great uh, the whole season, and I look forward to uh, you know, playing under Coach Spurrier next year. Thank you.